sewing guru. And we have now reached the final video. We have nearly completed our jeans. And if you've got this far, you ought to be very proud of yourself because it's really exciting. Because all you've got to do is hem them and you can then wear them. And as you can see, I'm wearing my jeans. And they feel great, you know. Uh, they, they look good, uh, they look right along the leg, the back looks fine, it feels good, okay? And also what you need to do is just sit in them, just to see if they feel comfortable when you sat down, okay? Because that's, that's also very important with jeans, you know, they've got to feel right when you sit down as well, okay? So when you're happy with how they look, how they fit, how they feel and everything else, then what we need to do is we need to hem them, okay? So the first thing is you need to be standing up for this. Now you can either hem them with shoes on or without, okay? Now if you're wearing shoes, you need to have the hem resting on the top of the heel at the back of your shoe or longer, okay? So it's up to you how you want them. If you want them to be, when you're wearing your shoes, just off the floor, that's fine. If you want them on the floor, because you see ripped jeans around, and that could also be a trend if you like that, then you need to do it that way, okay? But you need to put them no higher than the top of the heel at the back of the shoe. Now, if you're trying your jeans on and you're hemming them without footwear on, what you need to do is you need to have the hem where they're just resting off the floor. Just a couple of millimetres, okay, off the floor. And then when you put your shoe on, of course the trousers go up and they'll be a good length. They'll be the perfect length, okay. So, first of all, as you can see, my jeans are just resting off the floor, okay. And what I've done is I've pinned around the whole of just one leg. You don't need to pin both legs unless of course you've maybe had an accident or you've just got one leg longer than the other then you need to pin both legs but the vast majority of us have both legs exactly the same so all you need to do is pin one leg okay so just pin that around um, to where you are comfortable with and as you can see Mine are just resting off the floor. So, when you've done that and you're happy and you've pinned your hems in place, we're now ready to take our jeans over to where the iron is, uh, where we can cut the hems and just iron them in position before we sew our hems in place. So, as you can see, this is my hem, okay, and I only hemmed one part of the jeans. As you can see, these are still a raw frayed edge, okay. So what we need to do is the hem that you've pinned, and it's the right, the right length, what you need to do is just transfer the pins to the very edge of your jeans and stick them in there, okay. So just do that with all of your pins, just transfer them to the edge. Okay. And do that with all of your pins. And then you've got you've got a guide then of where where they are. And the last one. Okay. And when you've done that you can open them out because your pins are your guide. So make sure that all of these are just lying flat. I mean what you can do as well is just press this press this down so it's nice and neat okay and what we're doing the most important pin is the pin which is at the very back of your jeans okay the, the other pins the front the sides everything else that was just to basically see how they were going to sit when you were wearing them but the most important pin is the one which is situated at the back of the jeans and as you can see you can see your pocket here so just basically run the jeans along until you come to that side so this pin here is the most important pin okay so we can just straighten that pin off and that is our 
length of where they need to be hemmed to because so obviously what we need is our seam allowance as well okay now we can just you can actually take out the other pins if you like because we only need that one pin that's fine so take out all your other pins but make sure you keep that pin in line press your jeans okay and for jeans what we're doing is we just need to just turn this leg inside out okay like so and as you can see we've still got our pin here and what we're doing with jeans is you hem them like that and then again okay and then you put your you basically your row of stitching down here so that they come through to the other side and as you can see when I do that when I roll mine basically I hem it once back second time back you can see that the pin is lying at the very very bottom of the hem so that it's going to be the correct length so I know that with my jeans I don't need to cut anything off at all okay nothing at all now if you are going to cut and you need to basically uh, cut more off than you need that you need to because you've got too much hem what you need to do is you basically need to measure what that is going to be and then hemmed back to there so basically what I would do is I'm going to need mine at a hem of two and two and three quarter centimeters or basically one inch longer so basically a, a, an inch hem longer than where your pin is and then you've got enough room to be able to fold that over once and then again okay so what you need to do is if, if you are cutting your hem okay what you need to do is press both legs let's just basically straighten all this off okay need to press both of your legs like that and the other one as well okay so you just need to just press all this completely flat like so okay and whatever you cut off the first leg take that bit of fabric that you've just cut off and lay it exactly in alignment onto the other leg and cut the other piece off as well on the other leg okay and then you don't get any any um, faults where one leg is going to be shorter than the other because they'll be identical in length that you've cut them okay and you can't make any mistakes that way right so basically I'm now ready to hem my jeans now there is two ways you can do this you can basically take these jeans over to the sewing machine and just basically turn them over with your hand turn them over again with your hand and then sew them as you go okay and that that's what I usually do but I'm going to show you the other technique which is um, slightly more time consuming but it's going to be a lot better for people who are more beginners in sewing and you're still going to have a very very accurate uh, seam and you've got and you're going to be able to st st stitch it in place and you know that it's going to be really really nice so first of all what you need is you need a sleeve board okay now let's take these pins out of the way because I need quite a lot of space here for my uh, sleeve board okay and just slide your jean one of your jean legs with the pin in place onto the sleeve board okay and we're just going to press this first seam down okay now you can basically cut off any excess threads okay and frayed edges and just press this around okay now there is our original pin okay make sure that that doesn't come out I mean that nearly came out there but make sure that that doesn't come out it's very important that that stays where it is so you can gauge it 
on the end result, okay? And by eye, just make sure that this hem here is completely straight, okay? So you can see that just by pressing this. Okay, just keep pressing it. As you can see, it's all nice and straight, really nice. And again, press this. Okay, now as you can see, this part here is wider than this part and it's because my jeans were very, very slightly longer here when I attached the two panels together. Okay, but that doesn't matter. There's no, you don't need to cut that off. Um, and if you are cutting hem off because your jeans are slightly too long, then you're going to have them very straight, aren't you? Okay, at the hem. You're not going to have what I've got like that. Okay, so just keep pressing this round and making sure that it's all very straight, very neat. Okay, until you come back to the original place again. Okay, now it's just going to bring this back again because otherwise my jeans are going to go round, round, round and get very twisted. Okay, so I'm going to bring those back. Now here is my pin, so we're going to fold that over one more time. Okay, and as you can see, my pin is right on the edge now, and that is the exact length we need for our jeans. So we're just going to press this again. Okay, and this original pin, we can just take that out and transfer it now to there. Okay, and just keep going round, making sure, of course, that this here, this width, is the same right round I mean what you can do is you, with a tape measure just measure what it is yeah and just make sure that it's the same width right round okay and then you know you're gonna have a very very nice straight hem and it's gonna look really really nice okay so just keep pressing this make sure that the side seams here are all aligned and also Another little tip as well, this side seam here which is overlocked, okay, this here, this hem is facing this way, so you need to do the same with this. Now, as you can see, I made a little bit of a mistake there, so make sure that that is facing forward. Okay, so we'll just put that back in alignment now again, press that back, like so. And here again, and we're back now to pressing the final hem in. Final fold anyway for your hem. Okay, and just keep putting, let's get some pins there. Just keep putting your pins in to hold that hem in place. Okay, um, and just keep going around, checking it. It should look all exactly the same, very nice okay and just keep measuring that you know to make sure that you're happy with that okay so that's 1.4 there and here that's the same that's good and here as well we're just going to measure that that's fine press this in place okay and any any sort of frayed threads you can just basically slide them into the hem itself with your scissors they'll disappear inside okay put another pin there okay now as you can see this is you know more time consuming than the first method because the first method you're just basically folding this over with, and you're just holding it with your fingers and you're just basically pressing it all in one go okay with the sewing machine so uh, you're stitching it all in one go sorry with the sewing machine so it is a lot quicker but this way is more just more accurate for people who are just starting out in sewing and you know that it's all basically pressed in place and you can't go wrong because you're just following now the parts where you pressed it. Now, that's my hem, 
okay and I'm happy with that okay so what I need to do is press my other hem in place and what you need to do is just stitch along the edge here with the sewing machine and you need to use your top stitching that you've used okay so in my case it's green and stitch right round your hem and what I usually do is start on the inside seam because that is the stitching where you're going to be starting finishing in and you're going to have a little bit more bulk than normal and the inside seam is the seam you don't see when you're walking or when you stood okay it's the outside seam so I always like to start on the inside seam go right round the whole hem in one bit and then obviously finish off and back tack on the inside seam again and then of course you have a very very neat hem okay so I'm gonna do my other hem now take this over the sewing machine and stitch this in place so as you can see I've hemmed my jeans okay right round and of course I've started and stopped my stitching here on the inside leg seam okay and I've done that with both of them all right so that the whole of this is just one continuous nice stitch okay and it just looks really really neat so when you've done that just give these a press now I always press them on the inside like that and then on the outside okay and again we can do that with our other with our other leg um, I mean I don't have a crease in jeans I think it's very rare people do that so I just like to just press without really causing that much distress like for, for a crease at the front or anything so because uh, I just don't like creases so in jeans anyway I only like creases in trousers so we'll just press that out as well on this side as well okay and that is it that's our hem finished and our jeans now finished so I'm gonna go and try these on for one last time and this should be absolutely perfect so as you can see I've got my jeans on again and they are a really nice length on the leg okay really really nice so I'm very very happy with that so that's it that is our jeans complete and if you followed the exercises from 1 to 20 you should have achieved a really really nice pair of jeans okay and if you've done that and you're wearing them right now then congratulations you've done a great job and you can go out in them you can show off to your friends in them and you're going to feel really really great and confident because you know that they're a good fit and it's something that you've produced and you've achieved yourself so basically that's it that's the end of the jeans collection and one more thing practice makes perfect <laughs> <laughs>